Mike Haver. Thanks for asking me, what happens if I don't complete pretrial diversion or pretrial intervention? Diversion is a program that's designed to make you think twice about future criminality by way of making you jump through a series of proverbial hoops during a period of supervision, the successful completion of which results in a dismissal of the charges. Since the program is owned and operated by the state attorney's office, the state enjoys absolute and unequivocal discretion to admit you, to keep you, and to graduate you from their program. When you agree to enroll in a diversionary program, you're effectively entering into a contract with the state. The court is not a party to that contract, and so you're going to be dealing with your prosecutor and your pretrial diversion or intervention supervisor one-on-one. -on -one. With most diversionary programs, there's usually a zero-tolerance policy for failure. So if you don't do what you're supposed to do, when and how you're supposed to do it, or if you do anything that you're not supposed to do, then you're probably going to get bounced out of the program and have to face your charges. And if this happens, if you get bounced out of diversion, then you're going to face those charges just as you would have before diversion, but with one and possibly two major differences. One, it is an absolute certainty that both your judge and your prosecutor are going to know both why you were bounced out of diversion and that you blew an opportunity to earn a dismissal. And two, if your admission required an admission of guilt as a prerequisite to admission, then on top of having to defend the case, you're also going to have to deal with your own subsequent confession. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.